So you're using Squarespace and you're ready to customize your website colors. How do you actually do that? Where do you do it? How do you get your color palette to work seamlessly around your site? How do you apply these colors to different elements and pages and different page sections? Squarespace actually makes this super easy. So let's dive in and we will walk you through the whole thing. Okay, so to customize your color palette in your Squarespace 7.1 website, you're going to want to go into your site styles, which you can access by clicking on the paintbrush icon in the top right hand corner of your site. And then you'll click on colors. And this is where you're going to be able to add all of your unique custom brand colors into a neat color palette of five. So to actually add your colors and customize them, click on edit palette. And from here, you have a few different options of adding in your color palette. You can start by choosing one of the preset color palettes that Squarespace offers, which you'll find below the color picker under the presets tab. They have a bunch of different really great color palettes ranging from bright to darker and moody to neutral. These are some really great options if you need a place to start or if you're just struggling with finding some good colors. You can also upload an image and Squarespace will automatically pull colors from the image to create a cohesive color palette, which is really cool. And you can also choose one primary color from the color picker to base your color palette off of. And then in the from color section, Squarespace will offer a few different color palettes based around that particular color. But if you're ready to just pick your colors from scratch, or if you already have a cohesive color palette for your business, you can go ahead and enter those colors by choosing the color picker here, or by entering in your unique hex codes for your color palette using these swatches at the top. To enter a hex code for a particular color, click on the swatch that you want to change, and then click on the little drop down menu right here underneath the color picker and choose hex from the drop down menu. You can then go ahead and copy and paste your hex code right here. As a general rule, you'll wanna start with your lightest color over here on the very left and then work your way over to your darkest color on the very right. You can also choose to leave the darkest and lightest color as black and white if you don't have a super light or a super dark color specific to your palette. So let's go ahead and enter in some colors to create a color palette. I'm gonna leave this lightest color as white and then go ahead and start entering in my other hex codes. Okay, and once you have all of your color swatches complete up here, Squarespace is then going to take those colors and generate them into 10 varying color themes ranging from lightest to darkest. And you can view those color themes by clicking back into the main colors tab and scrolling down below your palette where it says section color themes. Squarespace automatically mixes and matches the colors from your color palette and generates them into these varying yet cohesive color themes that have contrast and ensure readability and just look really good. So your colors are immediately going to be organized and working as intended. But you're not stuck with what Squarespace has generated for you because you can also click into each of these color themes individually and customize them further. This is really great if you have some additional brand colors that you couldn't fit into your main color palette or if you just want to switch things up you can go ahead and take your customizations to the next level if you do have some additional colors that you want to incorporate into your site we generally recommend taking a look at these generated themes to see which ones you might be least likely to use so if there's one that you just don't love the look of or one that might be too dark or too light you can go ahead and choose that one to edit and when you click into one of those themes you'll notice that this panel opens opens up with options to customize pretty much every single element throughout your website, and it can be a little bit overwhelming. So we also recommend starting by just customizing the background color for that theme. You can customize the color of any element within a theme by clicking on the little circle color swatch to the right of the element name, and you can then toggle between your palette and the custom color picker to either choose a completely unique color or one that's already existing within your palette. As you build your site and use different elements, you'll be able to come back into your color theme settings anytime to further customize the colors of different elements. So starting with the background is the easiest and best place to start. And don't forget that you can totally leave all of these color themes as is. Squarespace does a really great job of organizing them and mixing and matching things to look cohesive and really great on your site. So if customizing things further is seeming overwhelming or if you don't have any additional colors to add to your palette, then just leave things as they are. You can always make small tweaks as your website evolves or see how you feel further down the road. 
Okay, so once your color palette is set and you've done all of your customizations, how do you actually use those color themes on your website? You're going to want to start by clicking on edit in the top left hand corner in order to enter editing mode. And you can then navigate to any section of your website and click on edit section in the top right hand corner. In the pop-up menu here, click into the colors tab and you'll be able to choose from any of your existing color themes. While you're here, you can also click on the little pencil icon to the right of the color theme name. And that's just a little shortcut that will take you straight into the settings for that particular color theme. A quick little tip while we're here is that while you're in your main color site styles panel, you'll always be able to see at a glance which color theme you've used for a particular section on your website with this handy little label that appears in the top right hand corner that has the color theme name. You can scroll through a page on your website to see which section is using which color theme and you can click directly on that label to be taken directly into that themes setting. So there's lots of different ways to navigate to your color site styles and to make changes. Another really cool color related feature of Squarespace 7.1 is that you can now freely customize the color of any word in a text block entirely independently from your set color palette and your color themes. So this allows for really cool highlighting effects and a lot of variation throughout your pages. To do this, you'll click on any text block throughout your website while in editing mode and highlight the text or particular words that you would like to change the color of. In the formatting toolbar up at the top, click on the little color circle swatch icon. And from here, you can choose a color from your existing color palette, or again, click into custom and choose a completely unique color from the color picker. You can also do the same with text highlights by highlighting a word that you wanna feature and then clicking on the little highlight icon right here. I'm gonna choose this highlight effect and then next to color, again, click on the little circle color swatch and choose from your palette or the color picker. And if you wanna take things even one step further, Further, you can add a unique background color. So to do that, click on the text block and then click on the little style background paint bucket icon, toggle on the background option, click on the color swatch next to background color and choose a color from your palette or from the custom color picker. And you have now just made all of those beautiful changes that are completely independent of your color palette and color themes and will only apply to that one section. Now, unfortunately, those same more advanced color theme settings are not available in the older Squarespace 7.0. However, a similar yet slightly more limited color customization menu is still available in this version and you can access that by going to website design and then site styles from here you'll be able to independently adjust the color of a varied range of elements across your site by clicking on the swatch icon to the right of the element name now because there's no set color palette or color theme settings in 7.0 picking your colors is a bit of a free-for-all and can lead to some inconsistencies so to avoid this we really recommend having your color palette hex code codes on hand so that you can simply double click right here in this bar and copy and paste your hex code in. This is going to make the process a lot more streamlined and easier for you rather than trying to use the color picker to try and find the exact shade that you're looking for. It's also important to note here that in 7.0, only the site style settings of the elements of the particular page that you're on are going to display in this panel. So you'll want to make sure to navigate to other pages of your site and access the site styles again to see new element settings. You'll also notice that the color settings are intermixed with other types of settings. So you'll want to be diligent and scroll throughout this panel to look out for the color swatches that you need. And there you have it, your brand colors added right into your site to make it look beautiful and on brand. Remember that you can keep customizing and adjusting as much as you'd like. So get in there and play around with things because practice really does make perfect. If you thought this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every single week and we can't wait to see you in the next one.